Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, or if you're new here, hi, my name is Lexi, and today we're going to be continuing season two of The Boys, episode seven. I think it has like a weird little nursery rhyme name. Butcher, baker, candlestick maker. Uh, I'm not sure if I've ever heard that before, if it's like um, a folk tale or a folk song, but it, it sounds like it's in that realm. So it has Butcher's name in it. So we'll have to see what that means. <laughs> um, but a quick episode recap uh, for episode six. We have a lot of history that was shown to us. We had a lot of history that was shown to us between Frenchie, Mallory, and Lamplighter, who got introduced in, the, in episode six. We finally got to see his face underneath the mask or not mask, I guess, but hood, uh, and what actually went down that kept being brought up a lot throughout season one and season two, and why the original boys split up in the first place, why Mallory left, and why Frenchie is so distraught about the situation. So a lot went down in the past and came full circle uh, in episode six. So we learned that, uh, we learned about Frenchie's friends, uh, his two buddies they were kind of like in a ride or die situation and they were like robbing banks they were like shooting up drugs that sort of so that sort of like friend group and they just only really had each other it looked like but mallory once uh <laughs> once frenchie got caught robbing a bank uh mallory was the one that questioned him and she gave him um, uh, gave him an opportunity to not rot in jail basically and instead recruit him for the boys because he's very handy as we know he um loves it's kind of like a hobby of his he loves to figure out how to take down soups what their weaknesses we learn all of that in like the first two episodes i think so of the first season and so yeah it was it's interesting to see him join the boys but then also what the boys were like back in the day as well because mallory was the one in charge not butcher so we got to see what butcher was like back then what um, M.M. was like back then. And then we got to see how they worked with Lamplighter to uh, get intel on the boys, or not, sorry, get intel on the seven. They were making deals with him and I don't think Mallory trusted him enough so she wanted Frenchie to tell, tell Lamplighter. And in the middle of it, his friend started to OD. He ended up making it out okay but he ended up dying later on. I think he OD'd again and died later on. Frenchie stopped tailing Lamplighter and it turns out that he was double crossing the boys, Lamplighter was, and he, he went to go murder Mallory in her sleep, but instead it turned out to be those two children uh, that he like scorched alive. It wasn't his plan to and he, he, to an extent he doesn't he didn't want to murder children it just happened that way he didn't he didn't see who was under the covers it was a mistake um but at the end of the day that doesn't really matter you know mallory when she found that out she that's what made her leave the boys she's not a fan of frenchie anymore because he left his post which had that happen it was just all around a terrible situation uh but at the end of the episode we learn about Lamplighter's remorse about the situation and it seemed like he's starting to get recruited by the boys or help the boys again um, and we'll we'll get more into where Lamplighter is present day and then we also see Frenchie and Mallory face for the first time I think was it the first time no I don't think it I think it might have been the first time that Frenchie and her were met face to face and talked she was face to face with Lamplighter too so that was very interesting uh reunion <laughs> near the end of the episode uh it looks like mallory is back with the boys and she's gonna help them a little bit more than she was previously in season two she didn't help get connections for butcher and them but it looks like she, uh, we're gonna start relying on her a lot more again i think it's been a minute since i've last watched episode six but i think so so back to lamplighter and where he's at now obviously he retired from the seven but now he's working at this facility that stormfront oversees for the big guy the ceo of bot i think and i think they're like in contact and i'm not sure if there's a bigger 
like I'm not sure if <laughs> what is uh what is the CEO's name? I, I keep forgetting. I'm really bad with names if it's not like said 24 seven in the show, but the CEO of Vought, the one that Homelander can't, Homelander can't even scare during their little face off. I'm wondering if he has a separate plan that he's scheming outside of like what Stormfront wants to do. Um, and we learn, I think this facility uh, comes into play with Stormfront's plan of what she wants to do. And we get a snippet of that plan that she tells Homelander. Of course, I think she's trying to manipulate Homelander. So she might have not just flat out said the entire plan of what she wants to do, what she's scheming, but at least enough to make sure that Homelander is on her side on all of this. And we'll get into that. But Lamplighter, I think, was recruited to sort of also oversee this facility. But um, what they're doing in there is they're taking like individuals who aren't pump weren't pumped with V as babies and inject V into them, compound V into them now and seeing if they take compound V um, and there aren't like crazy side effects and they can actually be like actual soups, like if they were to inject it when they're babies. I can't think of the words right now, but that I think that that was their plan. I don't know if they saw that Homelander was able to do that to create like super villains, but that's what they're doing at this facility. I think again, my memory's rusty, so correct me in the comments if I'm wrong or if I'm like way off page, but Lamplighter is there just in case to like burn the evidence, which I hate saying that if they're human beings, but burn the evidence if it if it doesn't turn out right and like basically the side effects like or the compound v malfunctions and the, and they get superpowers but it's just not working it turns them like crazy or their powers are useless or they just don't they don't work right like they're supposed to and it's just not a, not a good thing so that's what lamplighter was doing um and the boys figured out where that facility was and what was going on inside there there's like a big scene where they're le letting them all loose and whatever and we got to see stormfront in action again kill a couple of them but lamplighter makes it out alive with the boys so he's with them now and that's where like mallory and them meet okay aside from that <laughs> that was a lot so again, with Stormfront near the end of the episode as well, she reveals her identity to Homelander. She's taken on like many superhero identities throughout the years because it turns out that she was Vought's first test subject with Compound V to create who she is and like way, 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 way back. So she doesn't age. For some reason, like the like Compound V made her not age as a superhero. They actually, her and Vought fell in love. She she had a kid. She conceived a child, uh, her daughter. She watched her daughter age, and I think she died like not too long ago. Um, and so she's telling all of this to Homelander to maybe recruit him back to on her on her side, so she isn't suspicious anymore. Or maybe that is just like her flat out plan. Maybe. Uh, and her plan is basically to, I think, to create, to make everyone a soup, like the whole world soups or something, to create like this superior race. She's racist, by the way. So <laughs> to create the superior race um, and thinking she's on board with like the CEO of Vought of like turning other people into soups that are already like grown adults and like, I don't know, something like that. Very reminiscent of like Hitler's speeches back in the day and his propaganda and stuff in Germany. It's kind of crazy uh, <laughs> what she was saying to Homelander, uh, but get him back on her side. And it seems like they're still a couple, so they're doing their thing. But yeah, again, I'm very suspicious about like her overall scheme of things. And if we only know what she's told Homelander so far, and if there's like more to it. And then again, the CEO of thought, like what's his plan in all of this? because uh, we haven't seen him in a while. Other than that, there's just been like the side story of um, Annie. So of Annie and Butcher, like butting heads the entire time, like not liking each other, bickering back and forth. She's like, I'm nothing like you. And he's like, you're a soup, I hate you. You know, classic Butcher. But then they, by the end of it, they start to have like mutual respect for one another because they have one common interest and that's Huey. Uh, whether Butcher, you know, admits it or not. I don't know if he reminds Butcher of his, like his little brother, but his aunt definitely said that like uh, Huey is 
looks very similar to Butcher's little brother. So I'm sure like that uh, big brother mentality of protecting Huey, caring about him, um, is probably really reminiscent of his late little brother, Butcher's late little brother. And then of course we know like Starlight and Huey's relationship um, and how that's going. So yep, them working together, they're, they're tolerating one another, Starlight and Butcher, and in the end might even start to become friends. You know, they, it looks like now that they have respect for one another, maybe, maybe they'll, you know, get closer too. So that's pretty cool to see. And then also the side story of A Train in the Deep, they are like joining forces as well. <laughs> and it looks like the Deep is like recruiting A Train into their cult and they have like the Fresca thing, which by the way, during the finale, I will drink a Fresca for you guys. So I saw it in the comments. I was like, that's kind of a good idea. So I'll make it a season finale thing. Why not? So in the next video, I'll pop, I'll crack open a Fresca. <laughs> But yeah, that was a very long recap and I wrote it all down in this notebook. There's no way I could remember all of that. So I'm glad I, I went back, skimmed through, got all that information and I am ready to dive into this next episode. But before we do, make sure to give this video a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on videos like this one. And if you wanna watch this video full length unedited, as well as early access to more episodes of The Boys, my Patreon link is in the description below. It'll be on tiers two and three. All right, so without further ado, let's jump into episode seven of The Boys, season two of The Boys, Butcher, Baker, Candlestick Maker. There are illegal immigrants pouring into this country every day and any one of them could be a super terrorist. <laughs> My God, who's this guy? <laughs> this is like me every day with like normal politics. Oh, never mind. He loves her. Never mind. For some reason, I was under the impression this is just like a normal human being doing their day to day. Um, but no, he's a Stormfront stan. Huh. Oh no. What is he? <gasps> what is he doing? Fucking <gasps> supervillain. Are you bulletproof, motherfucker? Ooh, I mean, shit. Mm, her propaganda's working. He's willing to speak against Maude at the hearing. We've never had Congress on our side before. Congress, yeah. Please. Opposition's gonna have a field day with him. Disgruntled. I like her. Okay, we know what they were doing at Sage Grove, but we don't know why. Why test compound the impatience? What do they want? I need the full picture. We know someone who might know the full picture. Who? Who is it? I'm not leaving until we talk this out. I thought that God was sending me on a mission. So Yikes. Stupid. Let's get away from all of this. Get away from Vaude. Escape for a while. Mm -hmm. Can she? Oh. She cleared what? With Ashley at Vaude. You called them? Yeah, about an hour ago. Why? Ooh, Mom, the music. They could be looking <gasps> A. The music, I heard it. Oh my god, that literally terrified me. She is her security detail. To be useless if a soup drops her. And Serge? No abandoning your post. Serge. Wait, my love. Is his real name Serge? Did we learn that last episode? I can't remember. We made you. You guys want to watch Deep Desert in the Blowhole? I don't want to watch that. Don't, don't tell me that's actually the Deep. All right, and I ain't got the time to just. He's dead. His father's dead. Oh sh. <gasps> what happened to him? Oh sh. <gasps> what is happening to Starlight? Why is it all green? What the hell? What does the green light mean? Do you think? You can't watch porn while the sun's. If I get up at that hearing, I'm dead anyway. So what difference does it matter? To be fair, this is like the least weirdest thing a soup has fire. done so far, so. I was gonna do great things. Now look at me, sitting on the sidelines while the real heroes are out there doing the I thought I found what I was meant to do, but it turns out I'm shit at that as well. Is he wearing a Star Wars rebellion shirt? This used to be a, a beautiful 
beautiful country. One nation under God. Remember, right before these godless. We are at war. We need more compound V. Absolutely. We need Whoa. More soup. We need more soup. Brings me no pleasure to tell you this, but we also had a mole in the seven. Oh, are they gonna actually Starlight? Starlight. Oh sh. And she can't hurt anyone else. <gasps> you believe <it>. you <laughs> Oh. I want all of them in at the same time. Okay, this is insane. Hey. No. Fuck that. Okay, he is actually seeing it. I bet you she's in 42D. Come on, Butcher, where are you? And that is if she's still alive. Wait, wait, wait. What's, 42D? what's 42D? Suit proof, mostly. Steel walls, six feet thick. How do I get in? in How did? Yeah, you don't. And I'm sorry, Ooh. Man, She's probably dead. Well, there's gotta be something, right? Like Frenchie would have a heyday studying 42D. Butcher isn't picking up and the others are halfway across the state. We gotta go now. Why would Lamplighter help? Bot screwed you over, right? Well, now they're trying to do the exact same thing to her. Ah. Is all mine. I mean, you, you wanna be the cuck or do you wanna be the guy who f***s the wife? Now he's talking. <laughs> just kidding, just so kidding. Fuck the wife. Consensually, come on, come on. <laughs> The only person I would allow to say that sentence would be Huey, because I know he wouldn't mean it. <laughs> oh, shit, his dad? Look, I'm sorry, it was my idea, but you wouldn't come any other way. No, 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 no. he hasn't Ooh. got much time. Not my problem. That's yours, because you stayed with the cunt. <laughs> <laughs> they, they look very similar. I've seen on the news where you top that still was like... <laughs> <laughs> they use the same lingo. Yeah. I don't know. I never got a chance to say goodbye to Lenny. And I don't want that with you. You didn't have a chance to say goodbye to Lenny. Ooh, his little brother. You're the fucking reason he's dead. You let me tell you something, William. It's a shit world out there. You can't rely on no one but yourself. You either sink or you swim. And in Lenny's case, he chose to sink. Oh. You know, you're the one who abandoned him. Not me. Oh my god. This is what he wanted to say before dying? You're a fucking monster. I just want to know. Lenny could never have done that. Oh my god, his dad's a monster. I remember the conversation that hit that Butcher had with Becca. It wasn't like like that like Butcher had the monster in him well before he even met Be Becca. Like this isn't something that started when Be Becca disappeared. Like he's been this way for a long time so we're getting like this snippet of where like the these anger issues and you know just like the way he talks his tough demeanor really comes from so ooh, it's even like worse than i thought it was gonna be <laughs> i mean to be fair in this world having butcher be this tough and be able to act and react the way that he does makes be like does keep him like alive and to be able to survive in a world of soups that are just terrible people in disguise you know so it sucks that that happened to him but in this world in this environment he does have a better chance to survive but at the same time that may not be the case because we have people like starlight well she's a soup so she's like super strength and everything she has powers but huey and it could also be like foreshadowing that Butcher's dad is wrong because we see someone that was like Lenny that couldn't survive in this world. We see Huey, who's very similar to him, that everyone or that people say that he's very similar to Lenny. So maybe it'll prove me wrong, too, that, you know, you don't have to have like this crazy tough um, demeanor. You don't have to be a monster that you don't have to like lose your humanity to like defeat these people and like live in this world. So. I don't know. It's kind of cool though. Um, I think uh, the, it, like that snippet of dialogue, it definitely shows us a lot about how Butcher came to be, but it can also show us who Huey is and his potential in the future, maybe. So. If I can get my hands on Hugh Campbell, maybe he'd pull his little spine out the back of his fucking neck. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Yeah, I just, um, 80 years ago, she looked exactly like that. Sometimes it feels like yesterday. Something I want to show you. You want to finish off the backyard? Okay. No. No way. Hey no way. Very nice to meet you. And this. I totally forgot about like the possibility of Stormfront meeting them. 
Or I didn't even think about it, actually. Can you also let me know before you just pop by? He's Ryan's father. He has a right to see his son. Uh, that's very true, but look. <laughs> God damn. Want us to be a family. Weird. Empire Watch. Oh, Maeve. That's right. Maeve's girlfriend also saw the video of Maeve abandoning the plane with Homelander. You don't need to be scared of Homelander, that little girl. On the plane? What she must have gone through in those last few moments? God damn it. Awake. I wish I were as strong as you. But I'm not. I just need time. <laughs> You said you wanted to see the real me. This is the real me. I know. I'm sorry. That was so intense. I did not like that. That was so intense. I couldn't talk that whole time. Oh, that was just so much. I understand like where both of them are coming from. Uh, it is just so, it's so frustrating on both sides. It is literally so frustrating on both sides because I can see the position where Maeve's girl girlfriend is in. Like, I don't know if they're like together, but knowing all the information and like there's she can't like there's no way to blame Maeve in that situation, right? But like ah, it just sucks. And then on obviously on Maeve's side, it's also very frustrating. Like she had no choice, and it's affecting her relationship now, and it's all because of Homelander. And it's just oh my god, that was so intense. It was so intense. Okay. I thought you were tired, Doctor Vogelbaum. Doctor Vogelbaum. Doc, what do you know about the Sage Grove Center? Never heard of it. Should I have? Considering Vaught's been doing illegal tests there since you were the CSO, and you're still doing them to this day, seems like you should have. That's horrible. We both know Vaught fucked you. Probably put you in that chair. Homelander did. Testify to Congress. That's crazy that Homelander didn't just kill him. Sorry to say this, Grace, but you're the very last person who should be asking me for help after what you lost. But some things are more important than the right thing. That's a line. Some things are more important than the right thing. I'm just gonna write that down because that's crazy line right there. Not only like, is it just like a piercing line for anyone to hear. I'll get you all on a flight to Nicaragua. No one sees you again. When this is done, I'll take you up on that. But that's the point, Marvin. It's never done. You just let go. Yeah. No it's crazy to see like the consequences of your actions on both side, both sides, trying to do the greater good and like what it gets you. How'd it go? Horrible. I'll take care of it. Ooh, look at that shot. Oh my god, the lighting in that was so sick too. All of the light casting into the window touches everything until it gets right to butcher. Apparently y'all only want to say you you die twice. Once when you stop breathing. And again when somebody utters your name for the last time. <gasps> like to hear about Ooh. You. Keep them alive a bit longer. If you'd ever like to teach me. Wow. Wow. Oh my god, so many like insane lines of dialogue. Gun. Oh, she's teaching him the sign language. I'm seeing gun. Gun. Oh yeah. Oh, she's just teaching him sign language. Okay. I thought I thought she was like going to teach him the syllables of maybe her last name or like their name. Ew. Hey, Deep, you know it'd be really great to make it up to Starlight for all the sh** you did to her? Let her out of that weird prison? Soup prison? That'd be great. Bot needs trusted, proven commodities right now. They need you too. Yeah. Commodities. Still got a points to talk through, but let's just say they should be getting your rooms ready. What do you guys think of, uh... Eagle the Archer. Oh, he's like a brother to me. You he's ever. a toxic personality, and no church members are to have any contact with him whatsoever. Right. Uh oh. He doesn't exist. You Ford. understand? Ah. The program failed him? And boom! Bitches. Alright, let's go. Babe? What a weird team up, but I'm kind of digging oh. it. It would be really Ashley for once in your life. Be a Damn. I'm really sorry, Maeve. Hold it. Legos. We're in the middle of practice, Leanne. Oh, this is Lego blindside? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're in a movie? <laughs> I'm in a bunch of movies, man. 
Uh, let's see there. <laughs> Blacking off Becca. Can I see them? When you're old enough, you can talk about it. Ah, they're PG. You can see them now. You're old enough. You're absolutely old enough. For sleepovers and baseball games and visits to Rotland. Yeah. I need to speak with you. Yeah. We're having a good time here, right? Outside. Taking her son from her. You two. Stay here, get to know each other better. Okay. Oh my god. Is Stormfront gonna steal her child too? Like our Homelander and Stormfront gonna take the child? I do not want my son to have to go through what I went through. He's not though. He has a mother. He has a mother. And I know that that means something to you. I do. And if you take him away from me, this this whole world will feel so confusing and frightening. What's best for him is to be here with me, with his mother. Look, we have this opportunity. Mm. To give him a, a childhood you never had. We can do that if he's here with me. God damn, this is so intense. These scenes are just not action packed, but they're just so intense. The name's William Butcher. <laughs> he's like using the same script as Mallory. This is crazy. What was he like? Who? Homelander. Growing up as a lad, what was he like? I want more Homelander backstory too. You love stories about Davy Crockett, Teddy Roosevelt. <laughs> Love the idea of the woods, the forest, manifest destiny. But you know, I needed him to be the strongest man in the world. So I went to work on him. It was for me. Eerily similar, similar to the conversation that Butcher had with his dad. Do what you want to me, but I can't help you. My family would be in Your family's already in trouble. Oh? Because I'm about to go into that room next door to your daughter. And I'm going to bash your brains out. Your whole fucking family dies today yeah definitely not mallory <laughs> you help me scary what's it gonna be don <laughs> look at us <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i can't remember the last time i had a good cup of char char he calls it char i feel like i'm learning like so much english slang what the hell this is the conference room she's not here I want her to do it in front of my statue. Do what? Do what? What is he doing? I just wanted to make my dad proud. Don't kill yourself. Oh, is he causing a distraction for her to get out? Or is he actually killing himself? Oh, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Oh. Oh, he actually killed himself. Okay. What's he doing? Oh, to do the thingy. You don't, you don't have to save her anymore, man. <laughs> She's out. That was disgusting. That was absolutely disgusting. Black Noir, what the? Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh! She's fighting. She's fighting soups. <sighs> Come on, Starlight. You gotta hold your own in this fight. Let's go. Starlight, come on. Come on. Whoa. Okay. What is she doing? What is happening? Was that an almond joy? He has a tree nut allergy. <laughs> Did they just product placement an almond joy by killing a soup with it? You're almost there, come on. <sighs> That's crazy that she just helped Starlight though when she knows that Homelander can kill her girlfriend. Oh. Where's Eddie? Aren't you that sweaty young man from Blue? <laughs> is that a human hair? Yes, it is, come on. We gotta go. <laughs> Nice. Small victory, but we gotta go. What are you doing here? I hated that. I absolutely hated what he just did. The reenactment, here we go. What are you doing here? <laughs> that was not the time for such like a heartfelt Well you know. <laughs> hey bud. You ready for dinner? What's happening? What do you mean? She just flew me up in 
Ellen showed me that this house is fake, the neighbors are fake, you're fake? Well, he deserves to know the truth. Fuck, I thought she got through to him. He needs his mother. Don't worry, he'll still have a mother. Hey, Ryan, Ryan! Oh my god, they really just no, dipped like that. No! Oh, she's gonna go to Butcher. <gasps> she's gonna join the boys. She gotta get her son back now. No, I'm afraid you let our star witness burn himself to death. What do you mean, no worries? By me, I've got it sorted. You won't have to see him again. He ain't got much longer. A couple of months. Damn. I just thought, when you saw how helpless he is now, you'd let me go. Mm. He wouldn't have this hold over you, and you wouldn't become like... Him. Wow. <sighs> He'll figure it out. This bipartisan committee is called to order. Investigating Vox International and its production and distribution. <laughs> Starlight's mom is with the boys now? The testimony we're about to hear today will prove that Vought is guilty of corporate malfeasance and multiple felonies. Damn. Come from someone that has witnessed these crimes directly. Ooh. Chair calls former CSO of Vought, Dr. Jonah Vogelbaum. Yeah, Homelander, you... Quiet. You dropped the ball. You definitely dropped the ball. That's crazy. <laughs> Got you, cunt. Okay, let's hope that Volko Bomb actually Stick does what he's right supposed to. Do you swear that the testimony you're about to give today will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Thank you. You have five minutes to make your opening statement. <laughs> Edgar. It has to be Edgar. Whoa! Who was that? Was that her? Oh no. It's Edgar, isn't it? And Homelander has no idea what's happening. This isn't a Homelander thing. <gasps> what, the what was that? It has to be Edgar. It has to be- he has to be the one, like, in the shadows orchestrating all of this. I knew something was not gonna go as smoothly like that. Uh... That was a lot just now. I ain't gonna lie, that was a lot just now. You know, okay, we have... Uh... Annie and her mom, Starlight and her mom, making amends. But Starlight gets captured and put into this like anti-soup room but with the help of Huey and Lamplighter she's she escapes and her mom is alive and they escape and they're with the boys now but Lamplighter sets his, himself on fire and dies um Butcher reunites with his parents and we figure out like why Butcher is the way he is and like you know just abused and uh, every way possible by his father to make him strong. Stormfront and Homelander try to take Becca's, Becca and Homelander's son away and wants to raise the child like with, with them. Uh, not good. Maeve is still like, at, I think she's like at this crossroad now between like Vought and you know what what starlight is trying to do and i and i hope she she say she also saved starlight from black noir um when when starlight was escaping so i think she's almost there it would be great to get her on the boys side as well uh but she's kind of like going rogue at the moment so that was interesting i think she has just like she feels like she has nothing else to lose now that her girlfriend is like not really in the picture anymore um since her girlfriend is like well ex friend whatever the person she loves is now going to live with, with her sister or something so kind of just scared of Maeve now so Maeve just really doesn't have anything to lose she's kind of doing her own thing at this point um Mallory and MM both visited well visited Vogelbaum the conversation didn't work out because Mallory could sympathize with Vogelbaum and like his family and everything and she's like god I had, like no way to convince him but Butcher doesn't give a f about that he's willing to risk a lot more to get what he wants so he threatened his whole entire family that he'll kill him 
And by the end of it, none of it really mattered. That whole mission of, well, also A Train and the Deep and Eagle are still like on their side mission with this weird cult and figuring that stuff out. Uh, but at the end there, this I think I got wrong. I thought the head exploding and the head of the C, like the head of the CEO exploding like way back, I think in like episode one or two of season two, I thought that was about Homelander's mission to, maybe like that's what the TV show was trying to aim towards, but I thought it was Homelander's mission to create supervillains was the reason that her head exploded because it was like an inside job at Vought. Or it could be about, now that I'm thinking about it, it could be about like their facility of trying to stabilize V and maybe that's what, like why they're blowing up all the heads. Like, a, like I don't know, maybe that's why. Yeah, maybe that's why. Um, I guess that will be my, my guess is that they don't want this, these like secrets leaked obviously about like the insane things that Vought has been doing and that their soups have been doing, but also the secrets of like trying to, like all these years of trying to stabilize Vought in these facilities. So maybe that's what it's about. But Homelander didn't know about it. I don't know if Stor Storm, Stormfront just kind of seemed like, I don't, it didn't look like she was confused. Maybe I missed it. Cause like there was just so much chaos going on and I was like freaking out too. <laughs> the Congresswoman woman's head didn't blow up for some reason, but a lot of people's did at the end there. So yeah, that was, that was weird. That was insane. It's a great way to pick up like the last episode of season two. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited to <laughs> see where this leads now. It seems like right when, right when the boys are finally going to accomplish what they want or a little piece of it, like they're starting to win this battle, it just blows up in their face, literally. So it has to be Edgar. Maybe Stormfront knows about it. I don't know. It didn't, I don't know. I, I don't, I can't read her, but it has to be Edgar has to be a part of this. He has to be the one orchestrating all of this. So hopefully we get some clarification here in the season finale about it all. But I'm going to go ahead and end the video here and I will see you guys in the season finale episode in season two. But uh, make sure to give this video a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on videos like this one. It would mean the absolute world to me if you'd be a part of making this channel grow. And if you want to watch this video full length, unedited, my Patreon link is in the description below tiers 2 and 3, as well as early access to more of the boys episodes, uh, including the season finale and then a little bit of season 3 by the time that this is uploaded. Maybe I will be all cut up with the boys by the time this is uploaded, I'm not sure. but. Uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the season finale. Bye.